Hello and welcome back. So we thought this episode will be a catch-up episode about a lot of things that have happened in the last few months. Yeah. A few people have messaged us, mm, okay, multiple people have <laughs> multiple, messaged us yeah. being like, when's the next episode? When's the next video? So here is our video. Yeah, sorry we've been away for some time. We had a lot, a lot which we will cover now uh, to, to go through. We had a lot to figure out. Uh, a lot of events, mm -hmm. a lot of family. Yeah. So it has been a good time. Yes. Uh, we're making it back. Mm -hmm. So this is letting you get on up, up on speed. Get up to speed. Yeah. Yeah. Get up to speed. <laughs> you can keep that in. So this is letting you get up to speed about what we have been doing and what uh, what what have have happened in the last few weeks and months basically i wanted to check out what the last video we posted was do you know no i think it might have been our arabic lesson <laughs> no you think something else Ooh, was our engagement video oh so That's the, the last, last time thing you have seen is we got engaged yes that was a really <laughs> Now we're married! <laughs> so let's start there. So let's start from basically what has happened in the last bit is we got engaged and about a month and a bit later I guess we got married in Dubai mm -hmm. because we were in Dubai. Aladdin's mom came. He had family and friends that were there who already live in Dubai anyways. So they came and my parents flew in which was so nice. So we got married. We're hopefully gonna do a video just on itself on the marriage so we won't talk too much about it but that's one important thing that happened so yeah the idea as melissa said was to get both parents uh at the same uh, because part of the world. Yeah. we're going to do a canadian wedding as well which we've started wedding planning which is really exciting so we were doing something smaller in dubai and something more traditional canadian wise in canada much bigger that was october we mm -hmm. got married mm -hmm. october 25th yeah then from there my parents stayed in dubai for 10 days all in all so I think they landed like three days before we got married. So we had like the next seven days with them. We stayed at our favorite beach hotel, beach resort in Dubai, I guess on the coin, called Vita Beach Resort. We actually have one video already on it specifically. So go check it out. It'll be in the description. It's our favorite. It's so good. So we got a chalet mm -hmm. this time, a two bedroom chalet, like right on the beach. It was so big. It was so nice. And it was definitely like one of our goals going to Vita so much that we really wanted to stay in one. I and it just like, it. I know. <laughs> I was thinking that today, um, but it was so nice for us to do that. So then we got to show them other places in Dubai that are our favorites, like the fountain at the Burj Khalifa, my oh, absolute dude. favorite. We got to have dinner there one night, which I'd never got to do before, yeah, and I was like, a lot of time everywhere. amazing. We went to the Dubai Mall, we went to the fountain, as Melissa said, uh, went to the different markets, we went to mm -hmm. the marina. Yeah. Like, we did a lot, and like, it, it was, I wish we had more time with them there. Yeah. Because we'd have, like, you know, you can, you can always find some place to go. For sure, and there's definitely places that we have never been to either. Yeah, we got caught by surprise in Vida. It, it, it's known that it's really when like it's very rare when it rains in UAE and that day was like full day of rain we enjoyed the time we played yeah. cards we stayed inside and all of that mm -hmm. but yeah that was a surprise yes we and we have some videos um of all this so we might just end up doing like other videos about it too so then you can see what we're talking about or we'll just like insert videos in here yeah, as well you might be already seeing them now <laughs> 
So after my parents left, then I I was gearing up to leaving. Well, your mom left first. Yes, my a week left. later, mm -hmm. and then now we're in November, and then I left the beginning of November to come back home to Canada for the holidays and the time being. So we decided to come separately just because that's how it worked out. And I flew home and my very first time in like, I guess like business class, I got a pod. It was so cool. It was awesome. And then Aladdin flew home about two weeks or home, but flew here about two weeks after me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he also got a pod. <laughs> which was really nice um and kind of like something we got to like share without sharing together in yeah. a way and then it was starting of the christmas season because christmas in canada starts in november mm -hmm. so this was like end of november almost like a week or two before december then december came and it was like full on christmas so we got to put up the christmas lights put up the christmas decorations put up the tree and decorate the tree and we went to a tree lighting ceremony in ancaster which was kind of fun we got to see like this horse and carriage that has bells and it was like really cute and like super Christmassy, so Christmassy. Yeah, I think this being my first Christmas, I have a lot that I've, I've experienced for the first time, obviously. <laughs> and a lot that I loved, um, I, as Melissa said, like Christmas starts in November, I was surprised. Yes. Like I think I landed the 24th mm -hmm. of November. Yeah. And Christmas decorations were up in the streets already. <laughs> Uh, I was like, oh, okay, this is how it works. And then uh, the house was decorated beautifully. Melissa's parents, they spent a lot of time decorating. Like, I'm sure, like, you'd find the whole family history of mm -hmm. Christmases appearing in Christmas. Yes. Like, they had ornaments from, like, literally the 1980s. Mm -hmm. They had a Christmas book that Melissa got when she was a baby, the first Christmas of yeah. hers. And all of that showed we had something also special for us, mm -hmm. like, because it's my, our first Christmas as a married couple. Yes. Uh, lighting up the tree was almost was also fun, <laughs> uh, like getting it ready, getting it prepared, putting the lights, figuring it out. And uh, my favorite, it's gonna be weird, I know but like getting up on the roof of the house and, <laughs> and putting play. the lights yeah and putting the lights oh, it was funny. fun yeah and then the lighting and like the whole and the the, the music on the radio is all christmas yes. tv yeah. is all christmas yeah uh, movies shows your drinks your food yeah. everything eggnog <laughs> yeah, it was really really good time like i loved it yeah definitely got an overdose of christmas because it was my first everybody has been extremely 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 helpful to give me a <laughs> good experience good. like i got a big pile of gifts which <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite gift in christmas um my favorite gift yeah. well i really liked that we got ornaments from a few people um, for our first Christmas, mm -hmm. my mom and my dad got us an ornament and our friends Leanne and Lloyd also got us an ornament and they're so nice and a picture frame too They got us a picture frame too. Um, that was really special and we got our own we got one as well um, Of like being married and this year. So that was really nice So I really liked that that was really nice because it's something we'll be able to keep forever Right? Yeah, she's being sentimental. So an ornament is literally a decoration that you put up in a tree, you know, like the small balls. But there's a lot more than balls, I discovered. Of uh, course. There's stars, there's tinsel. There's yeah. <laughs> For me, my favorite gift, it was, um, uh, well, what was it? I, I don't know the name. It's uh, Master Hot Sauce Collection, something <laughs> like that. I've already used some, maybe I can take a picture of it as well. I think I have a picture of it, I sent it to Omar. Anyways, so the master uh, collection is like a big box of 33-0 bottles of hot sauce. All the mixes you can imagine. <laughs> habanero lime, mango habanero, uh, cayenne pepper, some things I don't even know, hot garlic. It's amazing. I've been using it almost every day mm -hmm. and yeah that was my absolute favorite thank you <laughs> you're welcome then after christmas no it's still christmas oh we're still on christmas it's a big holiday christmas so we hosted we went for four parties this christmas yeah four parties three one work party 
Oh, fair enough. So we did. We my work hosted a Christmas party, which was really fun. It was at the yep. beginning of December. So we got to like go into Christmas see, meeting some people and like hanging out and like that, that was, was really, really fun. fun. Yeah. And then we went to uh, Melissa's cousin for the family Christmas yes. Eve. So for us, Christmas is like a major three days. So we have Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. So December 24th, 25th, and 26th, those are the major days. So, and it's so busy. By the end of like Boxing Day going into the 27th, you're exhausted because you just saw so many people, you did so much, and but like, on the 23rd, going into the morning of the 24th, like you're so excited, ready yeah, to go. It's so uh -huh. exciting. And it's just so nice getting to see so many family, eating so much good food. So on the 24th, we went to my cousin Cassandra's mm -hmm. and it's my favorite day of Christmas because it's just like so exciting. All, everything's done. Like you get to finally like really enjoy your time Start with people enjoy. and like you're ready for tomorrow and it is so nice. Mm -hmm. And we had like a lot of like, Appetizery foods. It's it's my favorite day of Christmas. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. It it was really fun. Just to put it simple, it was really fun. As Melissa said, it's a good time to like. Okay, we're here. We reach. Just like you're going through this journey through all of December, <laughs> and you we reach your destination. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a good funny. way to put it. And a lot of people are waiting for the next day for Santa. Like, you're ready. It's exciting. It's yeah. very exciting. Mm -hmm. And so then on December 25th, Christmas Day, we hosted the same family a little bit um, for turkey dinner. So there was about 17, 16, 17 of us at our house for turkey dinner. Um, that was really good. Boxing Day 26. Was also hosting but my mom's yeah. side i think there was like 25 26 of us yeah. 27 a lot of kids yeah. yeah tons and tons of kids there's a lot of like great grandchildren which is really exciting i spent most of my time with the kids we just played with the toys. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to host because we hosted at my parents house and i didn't want to host back to back turkey dinner so that is a lot of work so we did turkey dinner on the 25th 26th we did like a lot of like appetizery hors d'oeuvres stuff mm -hmm. and actually went really well it was much more relaxed what hors d'oeuvres or d'oeuvres. Like, <laughs> That's what it's called. While we're looking for a venue, every place I go like hors d'oeuvres. I'm like, what hors d'oeuvres? Just appetizers. It's because it's called hors d'oeuvres. Especially when you're looking for a venue. Yeah, at the They're foyer. Really fancy. <laughs> at the foyer. So Christmas was fun, fun, fun. Two yeah. times. It was and awesome. Then came New Year's. We literally did mm -hmm. nothing. We got awesome. pretty sick though around Christmas, the week before Christmas. Very, very sick. And then like. The 28th, I also was very sick with like the flu and a fever and very, very sick. Um, and then going into New Year's, I was kind of like recovering from that. So we stayed home in the hot tub. It was snowing. <laughs> it was nice. Sorry, it has been some time for everybody who asked. Thank yes. you for waiting for the videos. Yeah. It was great and <laughs> It was really fun. Wait, uh, now you're overdoing it. Are we in a frame fine? Yeah, just keep looking at this guy. 